Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're checking out the Air Daypack 2, a perfectly sized minimal everyday work backpack. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you're new to the channel or interested in anything like this, please consider subscribing. Let's jump right in and check out the Air Daypack 2. We've been following Air for quite some time now. They make really well thought out bags that have a minimalist aesthetic that fits really well with the modern day carrier. The Day Pack comes from Air's work collection. This is the Day Pack 2. It's taken on some improvements and updates based upon customer feedback from the previous gen model. Much like most bags from Air, the Day Pack 2 is made of a whole bunch of high quality materials and fabrics. Starting with the front face of the bag, it's made of an 840 denier nylon, which has a super durable, weather resistant carbonate polyurethane coating. It's kind of like waxed canvas. It's got this matte finish to it. It's super durable and will shed moisture very easily. As for the rest of the exterior material on the bag, it's made of Air's signature 1680 denier ballistic nylon cordura, and then all the standard bells and whistles with Air, durable chunky YKK zips, and Duraflex hardware for all the buckles and ladder locks. The interior fabric is a soft woven lining that has a premium look and feel. It's got this nice cotton feel to it. At the front, there are no pockets, no compartments, very minimal. As for branding, we have this nice brand mark here on the side that just says Air. And also on the zipper pulls, there's the air embossed logo as well. On the left side of the bag, we do have one pocket. It's a water bottle pocket, which is also gusseted to fit a wide range of water bottles. This is my 18 ounce hydro flask bottle. And it fits in there really well, stretches out so that it can accommodate that space. Coming to the harness system, we have a really well padded harness system, really dense air mesh padding on the back panel and also on the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps are thick, wide, and they're also curved and they taper at the bottom so that they fit ergonomically on the body. On this shoulder strap, we have a standard D-ring for accessorizing and attaching gear on. And then further down, we have a standard sternum strap for securing the load and also stabilizing your carry. And then to adjust the strap, there is a little bit of elastic webbing to help secure that strap slack. At the bottom, we have standard Duraflex ladder locks. We also have some thumb loops, which are useful for adjusting your shoulder straps, and then some more elastic webbing for strap management. Coming back to the back panel, we do have a center channel for airflow, which is very good, but we also have a luggage pass through. So if you're using this bag for a short term business trip and you're pairing this with some rolling luggage, then it'd be great to put that telescopic handle through the luggage pass through just so you can have a better carry while you're at the airport. We've also got a really heavy duty and plush haul handle. It's made of that seat belt material. It's great to grab onto to pick the bag up and off the ground. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the compartments of the Air Day Pack 2. Starting with the front, we have a simple organizer compartment to help organize those smaller bits of gear. We've got lots of pockets to help do that. At the top, we've got a zippered compartment, which is good for storing little bits of gear. We've also got a little key leash here to attach our keys to. This is my orbit key. We can attach our keys just like that. Also got some hand sanitizer I'm going to put in there. My wired headphones, I'm just going to go in here. We've got two pen slots here. So I can put two pens in there. We've got another pocket underneath here, which I'm just going to put my Nomad Universal cable in. And then a kind of mesh pocket up here as well. I'm going to put my Leatherman rebar in there. Now, most of these pockets do have an elastic front so that you can put big items inside these pockets, which is really handy. But further below, we also have two extra large pockets that we can put more gear inside. So I'm gonna put my Apple Magic Keyboard in one of these, which fits in there really well. And then also my Lacey portable hard drive in the other one. 
So there we have most of our gear inside this compartment, which is really helpful. Now, if you do have more gear, perhaps it's bigger or thicker items that you wanna slip in these pockets, you can do that. And that's really easy because of the way that this bag has been constructed. This front compartment can accommodate more items in there if you wish. Now, the next compartment is a compartment on the top of the bag. It is a quick access compartment. It's important to note that the zipper garage here is made of Hypalon, and this helps with the overall water resistance of this pocket. If it's raining and you're carrying a bag, you've typically got rain coming down on this angle, so it's good to have a little bit of water protection here. Now, this compartment is for quick access items, but in particular, devices or items that are a little bit delicate. The lining here is a faux fur lining, so it's soft and plush, which is good for a mobile phone or some Bluetooth wireless earphones. That's perfect for this compartment. Now coming to the last compartment of the bag, we have our laptop compartment. Here we have a pocket for your laptop and also some other pieces of gear. Here I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina and it fits in there just fine. This compartment can fit up to most 16 inch laptops, so that's very handy. It's important to note that this laptop compartment is fleece lined. It's got this nice, soft and dense padding and it also is suspended, which is an improvement from the previous gen model. So if you accidentally drop this bag, your laptop won't be the first thing that's impacted from that drop. It's actually got some buffer to take and absorb some of that impact. So that's really helpful. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little zippered compartment down here, which actually gives access to one of these structural panels in the bag. Not sure if you noticed, but this bag does stand on its own, which is a really important factor for some people. And it's due to the fact that the bag has been constructed with these rigid panels to help keep the bag upright. That's really helpful. But getting back onto the compartments, we've got these two stretchy compartments that help accommodate bits of gear. Um, you could put in a manila folder or a magazine in this one here. I'm just gonna put a magazine in there. And then the next pocket is good for some cables or bulkier items. And I'm just gonna put my MagSafe charger in there. Really good compartment for that. Now this compartment can fit your laptop and other bits of gear, but it's a pretty narrow compartment. So you can't fit too much in there without it becoming really bulky, but there is some space on the sides. So I'm gonna put in my Roost laptop stand on the side and it should fit in there perfectly. Now, it's been a very long time since we've done this, but we have beer back, so we can do our rush faster beer capacity test to show you how many beers can fit into this bag. Now, the structure of this bag doesn't lend very well to carrying beer. It's pretty narrow, but we're gonna see what we can do. All right, one pack of beer fits in there. We have two. Keep in mind, this is a small bag. This is 14.8 liters of volume capacity. So just shy of three tinny six packs, um, almost there, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how much you can fill in this bag. Okay, so this is the bag on the body. I'm 5'10". Well everyone, that is the Air Day Pack 2. At 14.8 liters, it is a relatively small backpack, but as you can see, it can fit all of the everyday work essentials, and with its clean lines and minimalist aesthetic, it's perfect for the modern workplace. Now, if you're interested in getting this bag, there's going to be some affiliate links in the description below. And so if you enjoyed this video, if you like what you saw and you found this video helpful, then please consider using some of those affiliate links as they really help us out in making more of this kind of content. Even if you're not thinking about getting this bag, but you want to help us out and you want to support our work, then hit the like button, hit the bell. Let us know in the comments what you thought about this bag, what you think about this video. And as always, subscribe to see more carry gear walkthroughs if you haven't already. If you want to see more videos like this or more videos from Air, then check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Air Day Pack 2. Take care and we'll see you next time.